What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's Broken Jam. Welcome to Not For Broadcast. Now this game, I've been wanting to play for quite a while on the channel. You are the editor slash live producer for a news station and you have to edit between camera shots and censor people and just all of the havoc that happens with live television. This is either gonna be really good or really bad with me in charge. The money's on the second one! Oh, day one, the election. Oh no, don't put me in charge of elections. <laughs> You're fired. Who's going me? Hello, this is my good game. Who's going me on the deli box? Jacket, potato. Hi, David, I have a call for you. I'm just putting it through. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah. Listen, uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got a bit caught up, so uh, okay. you're going to have to run the news tonight. Now, don't worry. It's Wait, I'm just a janitor? Phone and help you. Oh, First, fucking hell. I'm going to broadcast room, so if you're not doing it already, look forwards to all okay. those screens. Right, look up at the top. That coloured bar oh. is your audience. The coloured bar. The oh, God. Going up and not down. Oh no. Underneath that, you've got the screens. This is not going to go well. the broadcast screen. That's what the viewers are seeing at home. It's only a couple of seconds oh, okay. behind the master screen. So the right screen. In the middle. Okay. That's the one you control. Now the four small screens on the left show the different signals coming from the studio. And you can choose between okay. them using the numbered buttons on the vision mixer okay. at the bottom left. Don't worry. I'll talk you through it and you'll pick you it up. You better bloody talk me through it, because this is not going to go well. Wow. <laughs> Wait, what did you just say? I wasn't listening. Oh, These shit, sorry. Control everything in the, studio. the fan, the vision up, mixer, the VHS rack, the speakers. Holy crap. The master trip switch and we're in business. Once you've got the power on, okay. face the front again. You can see on the broadcast screen <laughs> that we're in the end titles for the show. Sensor in us. Fortunately, they go on for fucking ages, so there's plenty of time Great. for me to explain... Oh, right, okay, oh, over, so we haven't got long right, I'm gonna have to move the right, move the mic so I can see. This is gonna sound horrible. Sorry about that. All right. Oh, look down. Oh god. Okay. Oh, exercise with ham sleeves. Crazy Neil. And come to Bumley. Sure. Why not? Oh, okay, 30 seconds. Oh, fuck. Alright, there's my, there's my beautiful news boy. Here we go. Oh, no. Okay, we're all good. Next is going to be okay. the, the news titles on screen two. Oh, shit. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. Okay. It's all gravy. Oh, whoops. That was an accident. <laughs> I thought I could just kill it that way. But anyway. No signal. Okay. Let's censor him. <laughs> Here we go. Right. Button two in three, two, one. Boom. Lovely, mate. I got it. I did a thing. Next thing is to throw back to Jeremy with button one when that globe in the middle shrinks down and vanishes. Okay. Alright. Oh! Oh! The news track! Here it comes! Switch to screen one! Now! Lovely Boom! Mate. The votes are in, and it's a decisive win. The votes are in, and I've got this. Don't get a bit of interference I've got time, this. Mate. Keep your eye on the machine at the bottom right. Use that slider that's flashing. Oh, fuck. Okay. I've got to check for interference. Oh, God. This is going to get really complex, I don't like it. There we go. Oh god. Oh god, we're sliding up. Oh, fucking hell. Oh no. Is it? Okay, how do I do that? How am I going to... How do I play the advert? Oh shit! Oh god! Oh god! I'm sorry! 
Good God. Good God. Over there at the bottom right. I normally play the first one at the first break and so on, but you can okay. play them in any order you want. Oh, let's put Crazy Neil on. Let's put Crazy Neil on. Why not? Crazy Neil seems like a fun guy. There you go. Oh, Crazy Neil. Look at him go. Oh, what a lad. I love Crazy Neil. I already love him. Neil Steels, they're unreal. doing great, mate. But this is where it starts getting a bit trickier. This next sequence is what we call a multicam sequence. Oh no, we're starting to do multicam. You know what's interesting is I'm actually at the moment going to school and studying this. So this is right up my alley. Oh really? Don't stay on the same shot for too long. Ten seconds at the most. So if you're on the person who's talking, Okay, I know how to do it. I know what I'm doing. I know how to do multicam. Oh shit! This guy's is this guy going loose in the studio? What the fuck's happening? Oh fuck! He's not a happy chappy. Okay. Oh god, this guy's an arsehole. Oh no. Alright, let's stay on Jeremy. I'm guessing he's introducing the segment. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Welcome back. To Later, we'll be hearing from the shock election winners. Later, we'll be hearing from the shock election winners. Later, we'll be hearing from the shock election winners. Okay. Is here the star of Megan Wolf. Is here the star of Megan Wolf. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf. All right, here we go. Thank you, Jeremy. And today, I have a guest who started. And today, I'm from Shakespeare. Here we go. Right, you're going to blunder clutch on screen three when she says his name. By none other than Lawrence right. Blunderclatch. By you none so other than Lawrence Here we go. Thank you so much I do for hope you believe in my tennis. There we go. Switch to two for the wide now. I've already got the wide. May I say having you here with us is among us. May I say <laughs> right now, just try and stay on whoever's talking. Here we go. So you just finished medicated. I got you. The medicated. Yes. <laughs> wow, medicated. what was that like? Yes. Well, wow, as, I like? Peter, well as I said That's to Peter. Well, as I said to Peter. Peter Jensen, the director. That's do you know him? Peter Jensen. He's a wonderful chap. He really him? is. He's a wonderful chap. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. Lovely. Now back to Thunder Twat. All right, Thunder Twat. I love that. This has been. What a wild you know, ride this has been. I really like you know that. Megan? Wow, that is really fantastic. That. And wow, am I right in saying that... The there we go. Am I right in saying that... Absolutely right. A scientist. Absolutely right. Was that a challenge or something? A scientist. What exactly are you implying? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, yes, you're right. But seriously, yes, you're right. But seriously, yes, you're right. But seriously, There we go. I'm making some good television. Starring role. From my last played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. Sergeant Brock Rockman You'll remember that that was a true story. You'll remember that. Been on that short bit long. But surpasses all. just fight for a love. A love, of course. For freedom. A love, of course. I think it's gross. Though, <laughs> she's just rolling her eyes. I love her. Ah, oh, she's the best. Two best actor roles, if I remember correctly. So sweet of you to mention it. But I really am not in it for the awards. I really am not in it. Those three middle statues do take quite a place on my movie. Those three middle statues do take quite a place on my movie. There we go. So, with all the others, I'm not doing it for the awards. Here we go. What is it then that drives the awards? What is it then that drives? It's a beautiful. Here we go. I think we're doing good television right now. I'm not easy like watch. you, like you, I'm afraid. Cut me, I'm afraid. and I will cut bleed. me, and, and I will bleed. That's how it feels. And often, doesn't it? That's how it doesn't feels. Doesn't it? Bleeding, doesn't it? Giving, bleeding, suffering. Giving one's audience, suffering. She's just like rolling her eyes at him. I it's fucking it great. I suppose in the end, I do it. I do it for the people that I inspire. I do it for the people the that I inspire. People. The little people. Most of all, I think oh, I this guy's a twat. Most of all, I think I do it for the positive change that I can and bring about. And today, in of course, and we're today, in for some real course, change. It looks we're like in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? What do you make of this historic election result? Here we go. Well, now you're asking. Historic election result. Indeed, historic is the word. Indeed, historic. Difficult, isn't it? Here we go. It's so hard listening to two different things of audio. 
been quite clear that when it comes to politics, one should always strive to not fuck things up. Jeez. Oh, 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 well, don't worry, you won't do it. There we go, got it. She did it again. Okay, don't panic. I'll explain how to deal with swearing at the brain. That's all right, I'm censoring it. I got you. Swap the shot of Jeremy on screen one for a VT of the movie clip. You'll get a countdown on the screen, but I'll just okay. let Megan Okay, here we go. It. My character, Dr. Lodge Hemlock, My character, is faced Dr. with a decision Hemlock. that could affect humanity's very survival. There we go. That could affect humanity's Exciting very stuff. Survival. Let's take a look. Exciting stuff. Here we go. Bloody oh, nail in it. Blunder Clash is losing it in the studio, but we ain't got time for that. There's yeah, we do. Interference coming. It's a bit it's trickier a this time, mate. Right. Use that little flashing joystick. I'm just gonna keep cutting to him in random spots. Hold down your middle mouse or Alt on your keyboard, and as the frequency changes, match it to the white bit by dragging right. Uh, you think I don't know that? How do I do this? What? I wasn't listening to your interference. I'm sorry. Uh. Wait, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh wait, there we go. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. I know what I'm doing. I know how to do multicam. You're you're a fucking idiot. So this time I should uh, I should probably pay attention to what they're trying to tell me. I guess. Alright, here we go. We're back to the point that we were at. We're about to go on to the screen. Alright, here we go, here we go. Hold down your middle mouse or alt on your keyboard, and as the frequency changes, match it to the right bit by dragging right. I got it. I got it. I got it. Now we're gonna squash the frequency by dragging left. Very good, very good. Oh god, here we go. Oh god. Next, we're gonna change the amplitude. I got it, I got it. Oh Jesus Christ. This is difficult. This is so difficult. Right, now let's match it okay. back by going downwards. Okay, let's match it, match it, match it. Oh god. I think we're doing alright. Surprisingly. Very nice. Oh god damn. Why does it keep changing? Nice. That's how you nail it right there. I'm a bloody genius. Oh, okay. Another ad. Okay, here we go, here we go, we got seven seconds, play another rad. This is the most horrible looking movie I've ever fucking seen. Good right, god. I guess I better explain how to deal with bleeping out swear words. As you That's alright, you just click a button, right? Screen here is about two seconds behind the there we go. Screen here. When someone says a naughty word, the bleep button lights up, like this. Two seconds later, you'll there hear that swear Easy. word going Done. on the broadcast, and you need to hold down the bleep button or the space bar on your keyboard. Oh, okay, I can space bar. Lasts. That's that's good. It can take a bit of practice getting used to hearing Aye, two things on. at once. What's just life without a little fuck here and there? <laughs> and if you can't tell when to bleep, just above the button, you'll literally be able to see the sound scrolling by. All you gotta do is hold it down while the red bit is I'm, over I'm the more red interested line. in this Simple. fitness program. Course, Seems well, like he's working a good program. That's why real professionals do it by ear. Where did this guy go? Most people like to have the volume of the broadcast screen a little bit below the master screen. Let's set it now. These potentially true statistics Look at this guy. are all terrifying reasons why you need to pop a bit of Johnny in your Mate, head. if you don't turn up the broadcast volume, you won't be able to time your bleeps. I got it. You're set to start censoring. Like I say, it takes a little practice, but I'll try and help you through it and I got this, I know. I this ain't my first rodeo. Remember, doing multicams. Oh, we're doing like a press conference, okay. Alright, here we go. Where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Zolder, oh, are about to make their exception. We're doing a press conference. Oh shit, he's pissed. Shall I start? Go for it, Pat! Shall I start? Okay. Go for it, Pat! Uh, 
Thank you all for coming. All right, here well, we go. We're off. Where do I start? What a Where day. They said we what couldn't do it. it. They certainly did. They used it. every dirty load. Oh, God, here we go. I saw them bastard trick they had against us. No, you can say bastard. Who cares? I missed that. Saw right through their shack. I'm sorry about the language there. I'm sorry about that. I'm out of here. We go. Sorry about that. Makes me coarser than the grunt is funny. Coarser than the grunt is funny. Really? Fanny has to be played. Okay. But to be honest, who People are so sensitive. For celebrating? Honest, who can blame Throughout the campaign, you've heard us say that advance are not a political party. Yes, yes. The party is what you have when things are going well. When the country is suffering, you need a party. I got you. A team that can change things. But today is day one of a new future. Very nice. A better, fairer future. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. There we go. Except for the rich. For them, the party's Except over. The they shouldn't be celebrating. The they should be putting their shit in pants. Ah, I'm going to wait shit side. Oh my god, it drops so much. <laughs> Before we came out here to address okay, the nation, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I have a blade brew, mate. Have a little chug along. I like this guy. He's awesome. A definitive list of every person in the country with wealth into the millions. You know this. Or probably you here we go. rather you don't. Because the likes of you and me because the welcome in their gaming communities. <laughs> Tomorrow we will be introducing a sweet throw back to Jeremy every now and then. No more hiding wealth offshore, no more trust funds or creative accounting. A simpler, fairer, unavoidable set of tax laws. So all you bastard public All right, here we go. Bastard. I've got nowhere to hide. Done. I got this. I got this. We revoked your passport. We revoked your passport. You want to leave like you threatened before the election. That's fine. But first, you're going to pay first. You're gonna pay back. Advance are going to turn this country from a nation of warring individuals. All right. To what do you guys think? <laughs> to raise the living standards. I just like throwing back to the studio every now and then. We'd have to raise billions. But you'll see when we've reclaimed what's ours. That's absolute ferret shit. So to you posh twats. The people oh who pay you a pittance to serve them drinks in their private clubs. The, the people whose children you raise. So they've got time to get even fucking richer. Advance have this to All say right. to F word, we've got to bleep that. Today. We are coming for your sports cars and your mansions and your vineyards. It ends. It ends. We will put the wealth of this country back where it should oh God. always be. Wow, what, what a what a broadcast this has been. It ends today. Yes, it ends today. And tomorrow we'll start making it fair again. We'll start just like we promised we would. And until then, ladies and gents, and until then, I suggest we all get pissed. I can't argue with that. Gonna just gonna let that one slide. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm just. Well, then. Interesting I just appreciate his swearing and freedom of speech. And our apologies for the fruity language. And our apologies Hopefully we've got that bleeped out for you in time. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. Right. So, right. as the country that. Huh? That's, that. That's all from us this evening at the National Mic News. News. We'll be back tomorrow with full coverage we'll of the full day under advance. I'm Jeremy Donson. Oh, Have see. A peaceful I'm Jeremy Donson. Have a peaceful And we're out. Well, looks like you've got it now. Thanks for the help, mate. I'll oh, God. The ferry's about to leave. Probably won't the ferry's be about to leave? You're not leaving me on my own, are you? Oh, fuck. This is some weird fever dream. Am I dying now? Well, we're not sure, you should be so lucky. Good God. See you tomorrow night. Not going for a drink? No, got a date. Lucky you. Try not to get murdered. What a murdered. weird broadcast this has been. Oh, here we go. Broadcast complete. Very nice, very nice. Let's continue, let's continue. Okay, I got a D. D grading. Well, oh, that's a bit rude. A slight dock in pay? Oh, how dare you! Day one? Oh. Good god, I thought you were making me do it all again. I was like, motherfucker! You arrive home to find a post on the map. Most being nothing more than the usual drunk. One letter, however, catches your eyes. The team wants to know you. Okay. 
It's a form for the advanced government asking information about all citizens. Oh, mother. Okay. The rest of the questions... Oh, God. Am I in a government conspiracy right now? What the hell's happening? Question one. Upon starting a new job, you would... Be friendly and introduce yourself. Be productive and get work done. Ease yourself into... Okay. Reminisce with friends about old jobs. Uh, I'd probably introduce myself, I guess. A colleague in a different department has confided in you that they've been taking home confidential information. Now a file of minor importance has gone missing. Uh, okay. Recommend that your colleague and... Yeah, I'd recommend that they, they be honest about it. An entire apartment was fired today for underperformance. Your boss has put the new place targets. They're significantly higher. Jesus. Uh, let's, um... Well, I mean, if you've got to, if you've got to put in the extra work, you've got to put in the extra work, I guess. It's the annual company barbecue, and your family has been invited. You, uh, hmm. Let's just enjoy, yeah, a nice day out. Why not? You've had a long, successful career and are about to retire. In your speech, you list all the achievements and great memories. Um, give your honest review of the pros and cons. Focus on issues and challenges you've faced or refuse to attend. Uh, you, you got to list the achievements and stuff, I guess. In your spare time, you relax, listen to music. Yeah. Encourage and support your children with hobbies. Yeah, well, you should probably do that, no matter what, I guess. Yeah, family. Family time. Your ideal hallway getaway. Ooh, good god. Exploring somewhere unfamiliar and discovering new experiences and challenges. Structured day out of theme parks, personal materials and attractions. Romantic getaway. Or surrounded by nature. Getting away from a strain of daily crime. I like, I like discovering undiscovered places. It is most important that the government keeps people safe, free, happy, equal. I mean, free, I guess? Alright. Day 6. A family matter. Oh god, I'm getting like a lot of backstory now. Good god, I didn't know that this was all happening. It's late, Sam and the kids have gone to bed. You're just drying up a favorite coffee cup, a worn souvenir of your first trip together. The prints have faded, but the goofy face still makes you smile. <laughs> uh, knock at the window brings you back to reality. There in the garden, clutching a neon green suitcase is Chris, Sam's sibling. As soon as you let him in, they sit on the table, visibly stressed. Okay. I'm sorry for bursting in so late, Alex. But I need a favor from you. Okay. What's up? Uh, you must have seen all the crazy advanced stuff. The Asset and Wealth Act, they're calling it. Taking people hard-earned money to fund the lazy. Good God. I'm not saying only the top 1% or whatever don't be stupid with money, but they can afford it. People like me, they're gonna lose everything. Uh... Yeah, it's awful. They're going to take everything, everything I've worked, my wife building, I can't help, I need a favor. I need to borrow your passport. My passport? What the fuck? Why do I get the feeling I'm not gonna like this? They've taken mine and half the bloody countries, but people always say you and I look so similar. I need to leave before it's too late. Once I'm out, me and my money will be safe, but I need to go now and before they freeze my account. Oh, dude, but then I'm an accessory to like fraud or something, right? Oh, god damn. Oh, is there another way? 
You're joking, right? I've always done right by you. I've treated you and your children like you were my own. We're family. Does that mean nothing to you? Oh god, I'm gonna regret this, but family's family. You gotta help family. I mean, I'm breaking the law, but, you know. Uh, Alex, what's going on? Chris is downstairs, they live in the country and need my passport to do it. What? They live in the country? Are things really that bad? According to Chris, but I'm not sure. I don't know if I really want to give him my passport. Mm. You know what I would do, Sam finally says, but it's not my passport, I can't ask you to give it to them. Family comes first. Hell yeah, let's do it. So, have you got it? Here it is. Good luck with everything. Oh. Thanks, I really appreciate this. I'll get back in touch once I'm safely out of the country. Chris takes the passport and, breathing a sigh of relief, grabs a... What is that? A ni a nylon fluorescent... Oh, the nylon fluorescent suitcase and heads into the night. You head to bed, hoping you can... prize some of the... Okay. Man, this is heavy. I didn't know it was like a fucking... It reminds me of a uh, Papers, Please, with the backstory of, like, the family and everything. That's, that's intense. I didn't know there was a whole backstory for your character. Day 8. The Fallout. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. Hello. G'day, guy. How you doing, son? Wait, why are you calling me if you're on vacation? Alright, let's do it. At least the bottom four? Okay, one, two, three, four. Right, let's load up the adverts. Let's just turn them all on. You might want right. to have a bit of a think about it. Uh, should we play this? Is this toy safe? Well, I don't care. I don't care if the toy's safe or not. Fucking throw it on. Uh, should we do Crazy Neil again? I like Crazy Neil. Well, let's do Advanced Go Getters. Right, you can see they nice. finally got the old headline system up and working again. And the vision mix the is already in headline mode because headline. headlines always come Oh, the okay. Start. Here we go. It's really simple, mate. These two buttons at the bottom of the vision mixer, you can see wait, they wait, now have A oh. and B on them. I don't need, I can't see that, my microphone's in the way. Oh no. Oh no, there it is. What? Oh, I don't like change. Okay. Oh, that's so that I can preview it. Oh, okay. The pictures you choose to show of these people, well, that's how the public is going to perceive them, and that's going to affect their lives. Yeah, that's so never a good thing with me and Judge. Carefully. No, and we're off. Good luck, mate. If I get time, I'll call you back in the next break. Yeah, come in, darling. Oh, oh God! Is this challenge you think He's God leaving me. I'm not even. Yeah, I don't even have a mentor. God damn it, Dave! Good evening. Here we go. I'm Jeremy Dawson. Our main headlines tonight: Destination Unknown. At the end Preparing of the image A or image we B. We ask exactly who's leading this chart. We ask exactly. Tonight, I'll be discussing what the new future might hold. Uh, with a leading economist and radical free thinker. With the country's wealth creators in a state of nice. panic and unfavorable rumblings already heard from overseas, I'll be asking my guests whether advance can deliver. Here we go, nice. I'm doing all right. Manifesto promises. Out with the old Remington right. fist of appointed Sophia uh, Remington as their new CEO. Okay. The following photo. Let's just put the casino one on. Gives us a sense of this influential young firebrand who, at the tender age of 23. Becomes yes. the youngest female CEO in history. What a fucking Sophia baller. Look at her go. Is a risk for the giant mega corporation. Sophia, as oh, I'm actually... Am I choosing the right one? Has always been a wild child. And has been romantically linked to several movie stars and sports personalities. Okay. It looks like I'm actually picking the right one. That's funny. Mr. Snugglehugs? Oh, shit. That's, uh... That's the ad I'm playing. 
fighting as well. <coughs> Don't speak about our sponsors like that. Fuck it, they're fighting each other. That's what's happening. B. They're fighting each other. They're, they don't like each other. Oh, no. He's just like, I'll fucking knock you one. Many were surprised that the two scientists who <laughs> shared a fractious rivalry for many years decided to undertake this expedition in each other. Very nice. However, the two have released I'm doing okay, apparently. Does it not matter which photo I choose? To achieve remarkable results. Because that's interesting. Playing the field. Rumors about the sporting legend Johnny Hamsleeves. Oh, you gotta do the puking one. One of the capital's hottest clubs. The footballer was caught while out celebrating being oh, you gotta the puke it up. Of the year last week. Puke it up. By this very program. As reported by this <laughs> and judging from the angle and velocity of that spray, <laughs> it looks so like cool. Oh, he adjusts to what I'm what I choose. I that's awesome. Oh, that's funny. Bodily charm. With advance promising a radical new position on crime, how afraid hmm. should we actually be? I'll be going live around the country. Okay, let's, with uh, who've seen the <laughs> let's just point guns at the audience. With more and more people saying they're scared to walk the streets alone at night, could this be exactly the right time? advances new approach very nice very nice All that, a mega move for the group of young actors i don't know if i chose the right ones there but uh fuck it the new assets and wealth act first hand they'll be talking and performing later that's all coming up on tonight here we go three two one oh, what's happening what's happening oh god we're getting interference oh god we got this oh god no we don't no we don't Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Hey, you're not the boss of me. I literally... Okay, nice. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, this guy, this guy's promoting his book. Look at him, he's throwing the book on the table. The fuck? In the wake of the government's swift enactment of the assets... Here we go. We're talking about Advance's first week in office and what the new future holds. Joining me at Katie Brightman, a leading economist. Nice, Alan there we James, go. Author of Alan James is Right, Here The Free Man's Guide to Waking Up. Alan, the government certainly haven't dragged their heels on delivering some of the legislation they promised. But what does the Wealth Act mean for us? Nothing, Jeremy. Here we go. We're still vassal slaves, we're just in prettier cages. A confident dismissal there. Katie Brightman, do you agree? I'm afraid I don't. Here we go. Nice. I think that Vance are really doing okay. I'm doing okay. The system of unlimited, unending growth is untenable, so they're changing things up. There, I agree with you. They're moving to the next steps in the grand plan. Here we go. Grand plan, Alan. It's all in my book. Alan James is right. Oh, Jeremy. no. We're to become the great herd, ignorant, sterile, and short lived. That's what they want. Or perhaps Advance have just realised that if Here we, we carry on the way we are, yeah, we'll you put them in line, girl. And this planet in a mad orgy of consumption, if you'll excuse the colourful metaphor. <laughs> yes, orgy is the right word. Only it'll be the overlords having an orgy on our poor broken backs. It's all in Jesus. Book. Alan James is shamelessly self promoting. Katie, how do you think the rest of the world will respond to this new approach? I think they're watching carefully. Advance are the most disruptive All right, here we go, here we go. world powers have faced since the last great war. Yes, Katie's right. War is inevitable. Thank you, but that isn't And this will not be a war like we've ever seen before. We're talking millions of deaths. Oh, God, here we go. high-tech weapons that can level entire cities. We're talking... Out of the wrong orifices? Mock me all you like, Jeremy. But when they murder your parents and they poison your food... and they Jesus Christ, this guy's intense. Brainwashing, we'll be laughing then. That might be a great way to sell books. Oh, yeah, yeah. Full, full well, that isn't going to happen in a democracy. Democracy is dead. Yes, advance are radical, and change is always frightening, but the truth is that the Wealth and Assets Act here we go. is more than 90% of the population wealthier, and is right, on target to produce a permanent end to I'm starting to figure out where this all of the stuff is. Jeremy, is that these are the same people. Maybe they've rebranded, but it's all a little circus act to keep us from seeing oh, the time going. behind the curtain. That's where you're wrong, Alan. For a start, they've mobilised the here we go. like we've never seen before. You say mobilise, I call it grooming. The grooming of an entire generation to walk happily into eternal bondage. They're like psychic paedophiles. But based on the facts, 
Katie, what are Here your we go. The Assets and Wealth Act is only the first step. Advanced now have a historic budgetary right. surplus. And okay, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. Public services. They're already, un we're they're already okay. funneling unprecedented amounts into scientific research in the arts. Or, as I call them in my book, oh, no. Franken science and opi arts. Like opiates, see? Can we get back to the issue at hand, please, Ellen? This is the issue. It's all coming from the water, the chemicals, they're pumping it full of belief Jesus juice. Jesus, belief wrong. juice. I want to see these changes, but only if they're sustainable. Belief if juice. Lose their oh, power God, this guy's cuckoo. I love him. Dismantling infrastructure, that could be catastrophic. The catastrophe is that they're succeeding. They've got us sat here talking about their Jesus puppet Christ. show. All right, we're running out of time. Quickly, Alan, uh, what does the future look like to you, Alan? A bleak space where we've all been oh, figuratively no. sodomized into submission. <laughs> oh, of course. Katie? We might be on the eve of a brave new world. God knows we need some okay. change, but we need to be cautious. Let's walk forwards with our eyes open. Two very different visions of the future there. Alan James, Katie Brightman, thank you for joining me. When we come back, okay. I'll be investigating what a the fucking Royal train wreck of an interview. Some beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act. Good That's God. That's coming up tonight on the National Nightly News. On the National... One minute back. There we go. And I've just put the advert on for that I toy that's fucked. Jesus. What a fucking great toy. I love this advert. <laughs> Welcome back. In our second segment, we're going to be taking a deep dive into the state of law and order. Very nice, very nice. Advance of a oh, shit. They are calling a solutions team to move this serious social problem to the top. Okay. Of the Tonight, we go behind the headlines to meet the people who live with the criminal justice system oh, fuck. every day of their lives. First up, we have Gregory Judge, a lawyer who sees the problems close up on the front line. Can you hear me, Gregory? Yes, I've got you, Jeremy. Thanks for having me. What's it like on the front line of the There we go, I just got to go back and forth. Well, back and forth, back and forth, imagine, back and forth. Jeremy, we are Very nice. massively understaffed in this country. Uh, we're working every hour we can just to try and cope with the caseloads on our desks. Okay, we're doing the quality of support you can offer. Oh, we can barely keep up with demand, Jeremy. Uh, there just simply isn't oh, enough fuck. being done at a systemic level to relieve the progress. Oh, we need more support from ministers. We need more support from ministers. What are you doing? Oh, we need change at a structural oh, God. level, Jeremy. I'm leaving, Greg. Not a good time, darling. It never is, is it? I'll be at my mother's. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, God. Oh, the, the problem isn't a local one, Jeremy. It's nationwide. Just give me five minutes. I'm talking to Jeremy Donaldson. Oh, have you mentioned your affairs? Oh, God. Oh, no. The affairs of the Justice Department that we should be concerned about. Oh, no. About. Oh, this Hello, is Mr. awkward. Hello, Mrs. Jeremy. We need... Uh, we need legislation... Oh, this is so awkward. Sorry to interrupt the news, Mr. Donaldson. Can I have a moment to tell my husband I'm leaving? Can I have a moment to tell yes, my husband I'm leaving? totally understand. Quite the picture of a burdened legal sector there. Gregory Judge, thank you for joining us. Next, I'm joined by oh, Chief no. Constable Bob Peel. No, I want to hear what they're saying. I believe you, Ellen. I would have not believed you. Do you think there's a problem with the system, Bob? We all do, Jeremy. I'm sure oh we're God, we're we'll getting more interference, God damn! Safely walk the streets of your community at night, looking papers without being terrorised by some thug with a knife or cop. So you feel the streets simply aren't safe anymore? Where have we gone wrong? Here we go. Well, that's not a simple question, Jeremy. But I think it all comes down okay. to moral decay. We've diluted. We're back to a normal interview. That's good. What it means to be a citizen of this once great country. Also, as the vicar noted in Sunday's normal, we I guess. Shouldn't Good any. God! And to what do you How awkward was that? Foreigners, gays, and gypsies mainly. It's all in the Bible. Look, Leviticus oh clearly states that. Oh, bugger! Hang on a moment, Jeremy. You bloody gimp's escaped. <laughs> Delia, the gimp. Delia, could you give me a little help, please, dear? Delia, could you give me a little help, please? Uh, as I was saying, what? Jesus didn't like immigrants much, did he? And just to be clear, you think it's the immigrants who are responsible oh, no. for the moral decay? Absolutely, Jeremy. Oh, back in your box, Clive. Back in your box. Delia, I really could use a little help with this. I'm oh, sorry, darling. I was spaying the oh, my God. Yes, I'm talking to Jeremy Donaldson. Clive, could you put him back oh. in his box? Oh, Clive, you know it's Wednesday. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whose responsibility is it to make a change, Bob? Well, it is certainly not the responsibility of the decent... This is so bizarre. 
Oh, hold on just a moment. Clive, I am not having this again. Holy shit, this is awkward. As I was saying, Jeremy, moral decay. Crime is the responsibility of the criminal, no one else. Look, everyone has a sob story, but we don't all end up as barbarians, do we? Holy Look, when our daughter shit. Alice comes home with an aim, what is happening? No, she takes three of her pills and hides under the stairs like a normal child. Thank you, Bob. Bob Peel there, really locking down the police's position on morality. Holy <laughs> shit. Hopefully I'm interrupted. It's time to get to the heart of the matter. It's time to get Tony to the Dawson the matter. has recently been released. Oh, marvellous. Now I've booked your mother in for a hit. Now I've booked your mother in for a hit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is so fucked up. Many happy returns, Tony. Many happy Cheers, returns. Cheers, Jez. Call me Titwank Tony. Everybody else does. No, I'm not going to be doing Everybody that. Can you tell us what it's like in prison, Tony? Titwank Tony. Stop bloody prisons and stop bag. it. Structure's quite nice, but it's a constant battle against institutionalisation, as you can imagine. Good girl. And obviously, Titwanks are quite hard to come by. I'm picking up that you're not alone there, Tony. Titwank Tony. Yeah, sorry, my friends are throwing me a surprise party. Yeah, sorry, Good bunch of lads. Okay, God. well, we're trying to get back to that party as soon as possible. First, let me ask you this. Do you feel that your time spent in prison... This is so awkward. you in any way, Tony? Rehabilitate you in any way, Tony? Tit wank Tony! I don't think it's as easy as that, Jez. I don't think it's as easy as that, Jez. I think asking that is an oversimplification. Okay. It sounds like it's getting quite busy there, Tony, like but uh, let's try and soldier on. Since leaving custody, have you been able to find a new job? Yeah, all the boys are here. Big Chris. Right. Little Chris. Good on, Big Chris. Vampire Chris. <laughs> Vampire Chris. Oh, fucking hell. One sec, love. Tit when Tony's on the news. Rehabilitation oh my is god. The current system, Jez. This is it, you know? fucking glorious. It's inherently unjust. You know? it's inherently so, unjust. so, do you feel <laughs> tempted to... I'm sorry, who's this now? Oh, no. You are joking. Chrissy Free Bollocks has only got Mr. Fancy, oh. It was... It was... Not now, fellas, I'm on the news. Good God. It, see, it seems like we've caught you at a bad time. <laughs> I can't really hear you, mate. It's getting a bit busy here. Yeah? This is fucking insane. Yes, we uh, seem to be losing the signal no here, Tony. fucking way, last bolita! No, we're just trying to get that signal back. Okay. I think we... Yes. This is Tony. crazy. Tony, I mean, we're literally away for two seconds. How has this happened, Tony? Can you hear me? Well, this is so bizarre. To clean a broader understanding of the serious and complex issues. Holy shit. After the break, what Megan just happened? With some lucky young thespians. Don't go away. Holy crap. After these messages. Good God. A team of inspiring young people from Scritchford Sixth Form College who today received a grant from Advance to take their play. All right, here we go. Here we go. Friendship on a tour of local secondary schools. Welcome to you all. Well, let's start with you two, Harriet and Charlotte Winstanley Dash Hamilton. Girls, you must be thrilled. We are Megan. All right. Well, to be honest, and I believe you two are sisters. Is that right? Yes, Charlotte's my. Here we go. I'm the older, more popular one. <laughs> I'm joking. Harriet and Trey were really the ones who came up with the whole idea. So, Harry and I were shooting the breeze in the cafeteria, and I said, hey, let's actually do something. These guys are very annoying drama kids. Okay, I get it. Fortunately, I directed a pantomime when I was at university, so so I knew the ropes, as it were. This is bizarre. We just want to bring a bit what? of song and joy. Since when is the news this fucking wild? <laughs> The issues in the play are what really matter. And I think you're going to be showing us an extract from this play. Okay, go for it. Put into context, I play a young first year who's having some troubles at school. Her character doesn't actually have a name, yeah? Because in a way, she's like all of us. It's like okay. Maybe she's you at home, or like, maybe she's you, Megan. That's really important. Yeah, thanks, Steve. <laughs> Put it in, Coach. Yes, thanks, Steve. <laughs> right, okay. well, I'm going to have a little chat with you. What in the fuck? Run off and get fuck? ready. I can't wait to see it. 
This is so bizarre. <clears throat> so, Jeff, when did you first hear about the grant? Uh, two days ago. A letter okay, from here we go. At the school. Now, the headmaster thought it was all a so we have to try and sync the camera to the music once they start performing. Wow, how did you react? I also threw it in the bin. Okay. And here we bally well are. <laughs> Good stuff. Fucking brilliant! So, let's have a look at a short section of... Hey, friendship. Okay. All right, this is getting already bizarre. I love this. Dear diary, dear diary, I'm not sure I can take another day at this school. I'm not sure I can take another day. At this another day of tears. 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 Another day of fears. Fears. But still, I walk the corridors alone. Okay. Still I walk the alone. Dreading what might be around every corner. What's around the corner? What's around the corner? What's around the corner? Oh, hi, Gary. Oh, heavens no! It's Gary the Fist! Oh, no. Gary, Gary the Fist! fist. <laughs> okay. Going somewhere, little fur. This is so Great. fucking bizarre. I've been looking for some poor victim to bully all morning. But oh, will no. this make me feel better about my violent father? Excuse me. I'm late for maths. It's my favourite subject. Okay. Maths is for losers. What? Maths is for losers. My arm's stuck. Now, just keep going for fuck's sake. Right. <laughs> uh, maths is for losers. <laughs> now, give me your oh, lunch. Oh no. Money. Double lunch for me today, but why am I only truly happy when I'm eating? Why am I only truly happy when I'm Not today, Gary the Fist. Not today. What do you mean, not today? Who are you? What do you mean, not today? My own three coat. Brilliant, keep going. <laughs> Who are you to stand up to me? Oh, no. I am Gary the Fist. And you're just a sad little girl with two gay dads who's all alone. What in the hell is happening? These are my two new friends. Vanessa is captain of the netball team. Yeah. And Blake owns a motorbike. Yeah. But, but. I can't fight all three of you, and I don't have any friends of my okay. own. This is so bizarre. What is happening? Take a look at me. Take a little look at my face. Okay. I could be Okay, this is so bizarre. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. <laughs> that poor guy's reaction. Okay. Well, thankfully that's all we have time for today. <laughs> oh, he's so sassy, I love it. For all the headlines from across the country. That was so bizarre. Have a peaceful night. And we're out. What in the fuck was that? The literal fuck was that? I believe <laughs> that was art. I believe I've got a 14 inch cock, but let's make it so. Holy I shit! Believe about an adequate paycheck. This is so bizarre. Oh, someone please get these twats out of my studio. Oh, I agree. What the fuck just happened? I have no idea. You have received a slight bump in your salary. You are now in crippling debt. Yay! Alright, I think we should leave this episode here. That was a lot to digest. Um, holy shit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of this. I'm happy to do more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Not to realize it's only a waste of time and our tears are only a fool away. Yeah.